Okay, we're continuing on exactly where we've left off. All I've done is unhook the bridge units and hooked in the diodes. And you can see that we're now running at about uh, 5 volts. Now, let's see if we can just quickly switch back and get our 12 volts back. Excuse me while I fumble. Get back into our bridge rectifier setup. And there we are. Slowed down a little bit, but uh, as you can see with the bridge rectifier circuit, full wave rectification of AC voltage into uh, DC, or AC current I should say. We've doubled, nearly, our output as we had with the uh, half wave rectifier, which throws away half of your current. All right. I'll just let it build up some steam and see how much we get for maximum voltage out of the half-wave circuit. And here we are again. Our boiler's back up to maximum pressure. We're hooked up through the... actually just two of these rectifier diodes. And let's open it up. I do believe we were getting over 20 volts before with the full wave circuit. We barely hit 14 here with the simple half wave circuit. And of course it's quickly dropping off with the boiler pressure. One more circuit design to test, but I have to rewire my breadboard in order to do that one. Alright, while we wait for pressure to build, I will explain what I've done with this robot's breakfast over here. I have once again hooked up this stepper motor through four bridge rectifiers. So what I've done here is basically the same as the first step, except I have disc decoupled the center tap. So I have one bridge between these two, one bridge between these two, one between these two, and one between these two, and they all feed to a common DC output bus. So let's fire up and see what we get. Okay, that's a little surprising. The engine is also laboring a little bit harder than it was before. We're already under 10 PSI. <coughs> and we're already dropped below the 12 volts we were averaging with the uh, two bridge setup. Now let me just decouple the second two bridges, so we will essentially be getting power off of only one set of coils in the stepper motor, or rather one coil. So we've got 9 volts here at the most. Pull that out. And it's dropped. I'll just try plugging them in once more. Right now. Unplug. And plug them in. Well, 
I'm not sure what this means for the current that we would be producing. But I think it's safe to say that for a small steam engine, if you want a full wave rectifier circuit, uh, use two bridges. If you have a six wire motor, ignore those center taps and hook up one bridge between the ends of each coil and couple to a common DC output. Alright, 